Hello my beautiful people for the sign of Gemini. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and I want to I, and I want to say welcome to the reading of the sign of Gemini. Thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you to the people that have been subscribed to my channel for a long time. And we start with the message from the angel and you have the angel Adriana and it say I am leading you towards the answers to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps. I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts and dreams, okay? So the angel Adriana is telling you that she is gonna bring you the answers. So just listen, listen to your intuition because the answers for the questions that you have are coming towards you my lovely gemini let's go ahead and get started with the um with the reading <clears throat> and it is a reason why you click in this video i have a special message for you so I stay towards the end because i do an interactive reading i answer three of your questions towards the end of the reading and don't forget to give it a like comment and subscribe for you can participate in the giveaway of tarot deck or personal readings let's go ahead and get started with the reading for my lovely gemini okay we start with transformation the tower card things changing uh okay perfect uh energy of planning with the page of wands the empress wow this is a these are great cards look at my gemini what is on the bottom of the deck? The Queen of Cups, the, sorry, the King of Cups. Someone hiding their feelings. Someone wants to come towards you and tell you how they feel. And look, a really passionate relationship. The energy of waiting. Someone waiting for the right time. Someone waiting for something. Um, you started the reading with the Tower card. It is a change. It is a transformation. The good thing about the tower card, it is a thunder coming to the top of the tower. That that will bring you clarity. That will tell you what 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 to do. The thing with the tower card is like an unwanted change. Okay, it's a change. It is a transformation that is going to happen. But you may want it. You may don't want it. But it's going to happen anyway. It is no way to avoid it. And this change is going to bring you prosperity and abundance you had the empress car giving birth to a dream it can be literally to getting pregnant having a baby and things like that but in this case is um representing um prosperity and abundance this change that is coming towards you my gemini's is going to represent abundance and prosperity uh because you have followed that you have the work car Things going your way. It is a um, it is a new cycle coming towards your life, and a new cycle with the Ten of Cups, happiness, happy family life, um, being completely ha happy and content about your life, about the things that are coming towards you. Like I told you, the end left general energy for the reading is the King of Cups. Someone hiding their feelings. This person is planning how to come and see you this person is planning how to come towards you you had the judgment card that is about getting a call uh, getting a text message and what you wish what you wish to have you wish to have more like um more like uh like more like family or friendship more support from your friends and family Feeling like you have way too much burden. You have way too much weight in your shoulder. Way too much to do, my Gemini's, at this moment. Let's clarify the card. Let's see what else is coming towards my Gemini's. But before let's do, let's pull one card for the Romans. Yeah, it came out like super fast. Let's pull another one. Ah! <laughs> it was way too many. Okay, let's do this too. Okay, so... The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. 
okay? It's asking you to follow a new path. And it said, don't make decisions based in guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. And it's asking you to be true to yourself, okay? Follow your intuition, follow your heart, what things you want to do in your life. Follow your heart. Let's see what else. Let's clarify the cards and let's see what else is coming towards my Gemini's. Okay. The two of cups, this change that is coming. It can be a partnership in a big in a business, can be a new idea that is coming towards you. And you also have the cards of the lover, the new a new love, your soul may come in towards you. Being completely happiness and content with your soul may come in towards you. The king of pentacles, a person that is gonna look you as the pentacle. This person is thinking and want to come towards you. I want to see how they can um have a relationship with you. They see you as, a, as the most wonderful person they see ever. They are looking like a, this, um, this king look at, at their pentacles. They're looking at you like this king look at their pentacles, the strength card. Okay, they are asking you to be strong. Even when you feel like you are just having too much weight in your shoulders, even when you think that things are not going in the way you want it, they are asking you to be really strong. The things will improve. They are asking you to be strong. Uh, the Four of Cups, you're having a lot of choices and making decisions based on the choices that you have. The Seven of Swords, it is possible that someone that is wearing a false mask, someone that is trying to, and this is the energy for the present, Someone that is trying you to just uh, tell you a lie. Someone that is just like, um, it can be someone like is trying to, um, to play you wrong. The Ace of Pentacles, again, the energy of money and abundance coming towards you, like a new income, new money coming towards you. The energy of abundance in this reading, it is really strong. And then you have the Ace of Wands, a really passionate relationship. That's what you wish to have, my Geminis. You wish to have a really passionate relationship in your life. Definitely. And it's just coming towards you, a really passionate relationship that is coming towards you. Let's go get the message from the moon. I say meditate and contemplate the desires, the things that you dream, that you want, that you wish they can happen. You just only have to meditate and contemplate. You can manifest those things in your life. You can co-create those things in your life with your thoughts, with your meditations, with what you think. Okay, you can definitely attract those things to your life. Look at Excellent. Okay, they are talking about a person that really like you. Someone really like you. Uh, romance is blowing. For some of you, wedding rings, a union, uh, going to live together, soul connection. They focus in yourself, focus in your self-worth. Focus, it's time to heal, it's time to show some self-appreciation for yourself. And you having many, many choices, okay? You have many choices and get to decide what you want in love. So we are towards the end of the reading. And we're just going to really quick to close the reading with the animal spirit. Let's see what is the advice. What is the message from the animal spirit? Okay. Oh, the boat cat a spirit. Life is a mystery. And this is all about, this card is all about the life is a mystery. There is some things that we cannot see. 
that they may be out on the front of us, but we cannot see uh, why things are happening. And everything in our life is happening because of reasons. Sometimes we live to a really hard situation and we don't understand why we are living through that. But the explanation it is that everything happens for a reason. It is a reason why we are living through that. And we need to, you know, be able to, um, to know the life is a mystery and everything happens for a reason. Even bad things happen to us for a reason. It's a greater, greater good in everything. Okay, my love, this is the time that I answered three of your questions. So I'm going to ask you to please focus your energy on the cards. Focus your energy on the questions. I'm going to pull three cards for one, two, or three questions. Let me see. Let me do these cards. Okay, you are welcome to stop the video if you want to. So we're going to start with card number one or question number one, card number two or question number two, two, card number three or question number three. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, card number one. It is a yes, okay? Uh, the hurricane, it have to be with traditions with something that represent a wedding. It is a yes, it's the Empress card. The Empress card represents abundance and prosperity. And the Ten of Wands, this is a maybe because the Ten of Wands, it means like having too much weight in your shoulders, having too much to do or too many things to do at once. My lovely from the sign of Gemini. I love you guys so much. You guys take care. Thank you for giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for staying towards the end Thursday and towards the end of the video. I love you guys so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.